Christmas is a black one for our country, Nigeria. The Christmas we have recorded over 100 citizens that were gruesomely murdered. This is not an incident that ordinarily this country would not have avoided. It was an avoidable one. From the accounts we got, letters were sent out, warnings were given by the murderers, but we are sleeping on this. If you recall, Section 14.2b provides the salt of every government. That is provision of security of lives and welfare of the citizens. And clearly, if salt loses its saltiness, it is not worthy of anything other than to be trampled upon. If a government cannot provide for the security of our citizens, then that government is not worth it. And let me also remind us that we form the second arm of government in our country, Nigeria. I am tired of standing every day to observe one minute silence. The lives of Nigerians should begin to matter to us. Those over 100 persons in Jos that were killed could be our brothers. Hello guys, it is happening. It seems to me our lawmakers are beginning to wake up. They are beginning to wake up because they snap the Nazi that nobody is safe in Nigeria. Guys, I want to show you a video. As it stands, lawmakers stand, they are about to take the decision. Get me right. They are at the verge of impeaching Pablo Escobar. I didn't say they have impeached Pablo Escobar. Oh, let you to new to new, uh, Pablo Escobar uh, uh, ag uh, agent, a uh, fast checker agent. No come to my command like this my video again. They are at the verge of impeaching Pablo Escobar. All right, they are at the verge. Now they're waking up. They said Tinubu has failed. They said they are tired of taking one minute silence every day. See, I don't know. Talk too much. Just settle down. Make sure you watch this video to the end because if you don't watch it to the end, you will not get the real message. All right, but please, before you watch this video, the best you need to do, please, share this video now. Let all Nigeria see it. Let all Nigeria see it. on this that our lawmakers they are doing now. This journey they want to embark on. I'm a million times in support. Please like this video, share it in other platform you belong. Thank you. Let's watch the video together. God bless you. June 2023. Over the past six months, the house has been a beacon of democratic values and a testament to the power of collaborative governance. Dear colleagues. In the short span of the life of this assembly, we have suffered some misfortunes, including the death of Honorable Abdul Kadri Dambuga, member rep who represented Isa Sabon Birni Federal Constituency of Sokoto State. Earlier, the member elect representing Jalingo Yoro Zing Federal Constituency of Taraba State, Ismail Amayhanchi died shortly before the house was inaugurated. We are saddened by the recent death of Mojisola Abayomi, the young daughter of Honorable Benjamin Adeyemi Olabinjo, and the father of Honorable Solomon Wombo, His Royal Highness the Tar Kasina Alam, Dr. Benjamin Faisal Wombo, who, who on Wednesday 27 December 2023 passed to internal glory. We also received with shock and sadness news of the demise of the Right Honorable Gali Umar Naaba, former Speaker of the Fourth House of Representatives. Honorable Naaba was an icon of the legislature and a dedicated lawmaker and patriot. May we rise to observe a mini silence in their honor and also the souls of those who died in other incidents, including our late governor of Ondo State. Executive session. May the soul of the departed rest in peace. Mr. Speaker, respect colleagues, I want to appreciate you and thank you for the opportunity given to me. And I will go rather straight, since you have given me the opportunity to raise the matter under a uh, uh, matter of urgent public importance. 
uh, it has to do with Rule 8, sub Rule 4, 1, 2, and 3. And the motion is on the urgent need to condemn and investigate the gruesome Christmas Eve killings in Plateau State of Nigeria. The speaker, the speaker colleagues, uh, this has to do with the number of persons that have been killed. Over 200 people have, uh, have lost their life under this, and I want to beg the leave of the House to suspend our rules to allow me to present the motion I so uh, submit, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Any seconder? I say please uh, proceed. Mr. Speaker, as fellow colleagues, my name is Anne. To condemn and investigate the gruesome Christmas Eve killings in Paso Plateau State. The House knows that on the 24th of December, at 22 hours, the following, uh, the, the following 12 villages in Bokos, local government area, were attacked, Ndung, Nyang, Murfet, Mokundari, Tamiso, Chiang, Tahari, Guaraba, Dares, Mayanga, Derwat, and Butra company villages, according to preliminary police report. Further notes that, the, uh, that similarly on 24th of December 2023, at about 20, 22 44 hours, three villages in Barikiladi, namely Nti, Kurum, and Dawarat, were also attacked. Informed that the findings from the assessment of the ugly incident in Boko Zogome area revealed that the total number of villages attacked were 12, 221 homes were set ablaze, 27 motorcycles were burned, uh, 8 motor vehicles were burned down, and, and, and 79 persons were killed, while 17 deaths was, uh, were, were, uh, were recorded in Barikilad, local government area of Plateau State. Further notes, further informed that the death toll from the virus attacked at Bokos, Barikiladi, and Mongol government area of Plateau State has surpassed over 200 on the 29th of December 2023, with many others seriously injured, according to several news sources. Aware that Chapter 2 of the 1999 Constitution as amended, particularly Section 14.2, provides thus, it is therefore accordingly declared that the security and welfare of people shall be the primary purpose of government. Further aware that up to this moment, security agencies are yet to identify the perpetrators of this heinous attack that has claimed hundreds of lives of innocent citizens and destroyed properties worth millions. Worded that if this desolate act are left unchecked, they will escalate with time and worsen this already volatile security situation on the plateau. Further worded that further escalation in these killings may lead to uh, conflagration in the whole of northern, uh, north central Nigeria, which may uh, spill into other geopolitical zones in the country. Dissolves, the House therefore dissolves that. The Honorable House should, as a matter of urgency, observe a meaning of silence in respect of the soul of, the, of those uh, killed in the recent kill, uh, Christmas Eve attack in Bokos, Barikiladi, Mongol local government, and other parts of Plateau State. Direct the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, to immediately assess the, ex the extent of the damage and displacement in attack communities within the said local government areas with a view to providing necessary relief materials. Urge the Inspector General of Police to immediately conduct a detailed investigation into these attacks with a view to identifying the perpetrators and bringing them to justice. Urge the Honorable Minister of Defense to initiate a coordinated joint security operation within these local government areas and adjoining towns located in Plateau State, Bauchi, Gombe, Taraba, and Nasrallah states to flush out criminals and bandits and prevent them from escaping to other states. The House appreciates the efforts 
of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria by sending a delegation half powered promptly uh, to the affected communities through the leadership of uh, the Vice President. All the Chief of Air Staff to collaborate with Chief of Air Staff to provide aerial surveillance and support to flush out criminal hideouts and camps. Six urge the Departments of State Security Services and Director, and Director of Military Intelligence to gather intelligence information on the influx, camping, and, uh, 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 and, and, and operations of criminal groups within Bokos, Barikildadi, Mangu, and other villages uh, in, local, uh, in the areas of, uh, and adjoining towns and share the same with other sister security agencies. All the chief of staff, air staff uh, army staff, to establish military presence, bases in the said local government areas and other volatile areas of Plateau State. Direct the, the committee on NEMA, defense, army, air force, police, and legislative compliance to ensure compliance and furnish the house with a monthly report on the security situation is resolved. Mr. Speaker, respect colleagues, I so submit. And Mr. Speaker, respect colleagues, I want to bring to the attention of the House too that I have on the list over 35 persons who have indicated to co-sponsor this motion. Uh, uh, then uh, Ishaya Lalum, Honorable Kinsley Chinda, Honorable Ali Jesse, Ali Umar Daiki, Usman Bellokumo, uh, my brother, leader, former well, Fale K, Betera, and the many uh, hosts of others. Mr. Speaker, thank you very much, colleagues. I want to appreciate your keen interest and listening. Thank you. You are part of it. Your name is here. <laughs> King for seconda to the amendments first. Is that why you raise your hands? Okay, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, my dear colleagues. Uh, very seriously, this Christmas is a black one for our country, Nigeria. The Christmas we have recorded over 100 citizens that were gruesomely murdered. This is not an incident that ordinarily this country would not have avoided. It was an avoidable one. From the accounts we got, letters were sent out. Warnings were given by the murderers, but we are sleeping on this. If you recall, Section 14.2b provides the salt of every government. That is provision of security of lives and welfare of the citizens. And clearly, if salt loses its saltiness, it is not worthy of anything other than to be trampled upon. If a government cannot provide for the security of our citizens, then that government is not worth it. And let me also remind us that we form the second arm of government in our country, Nigeria. I am tired of standing every day to observe one minute silence. The lives of Nigerians should begin to matter to us. Those over 100 persons in Jos that were killed could be our brothers and our sisters. In fact, any member of this parliament could have been there. Let us have that feeling. We can no longer fold our arms and watch these things happen. And every day we will stand here, take motions. We need to begin to act. Mr. Speaker, my dear colleagues, this is not the first. This is not the second. It might not be the last unless something crucial is done. I will call on this House to reflect on the security situation in the country today. One life, one, just one, could be life of Kingsley Chinda, and it is as important as any other life. And we don't know what will happen next. We can go on and on, but because of the business of today, I will simply pray that we can no longer allow these things in the hands of the security agencies and do nothing. Mr. Speaker, my dear colleagues, let us set up a very strong ad hoc committee, even if we have agreed 
that will avoid ad hoc committees. This is so important that it will require the best hands here that will be neutral to investigate the root cause or causes of these things and come up with clear solutions, legislative solutions to enable us to make our own contribution. Let us not stop at observing one minute silence and taking these motions. Let us go to the field and find out what is wrong with our system. Why we cannot nip these things by the boot? Why people will write letters, threaten that they are coming, and nothing happened, and they came, and Nigerians were killed? I will urge us to please support this motion and also add this prayer that a strong ad hoc committee of the House be set up to investigate the causes of this and provide legislative solutions to us within two weeks. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, my dear colleagues. Okay, before I said, that is the implication of what the leader is asking. If we are to set up an ad hoc committee to investigate, then all other prayers as originally forwarded will be null and void. Yeah? Because you can't set up an ad, uh, an ad hoc committee and still refer this matter to other committees as well. So we need to be guided. Other prayers are asking for security formations to be set up. Some are asking that measures be taken in the immediate. It does not conflict with the fact that we can set up another committee to investigate into the root causes of this and advise us on legislative solutions while the security agencies should take immediate step as prayed in the other prayers to forestall further occurrences pending the conclusion of this investigation, sir. So I don't think that my prayer is to... Uh, it has conflicted because once you set up an ad hoc committee, there is no need for referral to any... To withdraw the call for uh, mm. amendment for additional prayers. Mm. Else, what I have in mind is that those prayers should stand... So and we, then we take the committee. first prayer, isn't it? I think there is a prayer before the the request for other committee, right? Yes, sir. So that, still... that all those prayers stand. Okay. And an other committee. No, be that's, set up, that's okay. Thank that's you, okay. Sir. Thank you. Your point. Right now, there is an attack of bandits. Honorable, you cannot when somebody has uh, rise up to make an amendment and you change the topic. We no, have to no, support sir, I just this want to bring to the, because Hold we are on. It's the it, same banditry. I just received the report now that bandits went and attacked my village, a village oh. in my constituency. That has nothing to and, do uh, with the no, subject I, I, matter. I, I, I just... We are amending the prayer of a motion. <laughs> that has nothing to do with this. You are bringing an entirely new thing. Honorable colleagues, is there any member who may wish to support to second this speaker of the tenth assembly? Please, order, order. Most distinguished colleagues, arise under order 8 through 5, which is personal explanation, to do just two things. One, this is the end of this year's section, before we embrace 2024. Your Excellency, you have reeled out the achievements of this 10th Assembly. And we are amazed with what we have achieved as a team. We also need to commend you, and that is what I have stood up to do, that your leadership has brought these ones together, has increased the cohesion among us. Your leadership has united the nation, has care for the people we represent, and we need to commend you for that exemplary leadership. But beyond that, I want to also thank you and the membership of this house for finding out time to come to Bende yesterday to unveil the initiative of peace in Southeast. That has given my people a great sense of inclusion, where the north and the south all converge in Bende to say we are in support 
of non-kinetic approach towards resolving our problems in the Southeast. I thank you, honorable colleagues who came. I'm happy that you came safely and you left safely. I want to thank the emirs who came, the emir of Vichy, the emir of Kano. I want to thank the Oni of Ife. I want to thank the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who was represented by the vice president. I want to thank the Senate president, the president of the Senate, represented by the deputy Senate president. Thank you for bringing huge amount of members to Bende. I really appreciate you for doing this. It's an encouragement towards this piece, and we will reciprocate when the need arises. You have stimulated peace conversation in the Southeast, and we are promising Nigeria that this peace conversation will lead to the national cohesion, national loyalty that is expected from Southeast. Thank you once again, and God bless you. Thank you, Excellency. Presentation of report.